Hi, Ian again here from Safety Force Driving School. In this video, we're going to focus on correct positioning on the straight. It's a typical fault on a driving test where people drive too much out from the curb or too close to oncoming traffic during the test. We should drive what we call left of centre position, where a cyclist can overtake you on the left, but a car can overtake you safely on the right without having to move out too far. Obviously, if you have to drive out from parked cars, you need to move, change the road position but generally you should drive reasonably close to the left. When you're driving on dual carriageways during your driving test, it's important that you drive in the lane closest to the left, unless it's a bus lane. The right-hand lane on a dual carriageway is generally for overtaking or for turning right ahead. So if your positioning on the straight is always in the lane as closest to the left as you can. An important tip is to be wary that you're not unconsciously copying the road positioning of the traffic in front of you. Be aware of your own road positioning and don't drift too far to the right. I will now demonstrate all of this and explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I'm driving on a typical road now, you might be on your driving test. So I should be driving what we call reasonably close to the left of centre. So I'm doing 50 kilometres now in fourth gear and I'm just driving just away from the double yellow lines but there's no parked cars ahead of me. So I should be driving reasonably close, well away from oncoming traffic. Typical fault on the test would be if I just drift out into the road a little bit like this and now I'm too central. This is now a grade two fault on positioning on the straight on the test. I'm too far from the curb, so I should be driving what we call left of centre by driving a bit more close to the left once there's no parked cars. Part of the correct positioning on the straight is being in the correct lane when you're on a dual carriageway. Or you may have a, a road which has three lanes on it. So I'm turning onto the road here which has three lanes. The inside left lane is a bus lane and then I've got two driving lanes. So I should actually drive in the lane closest to the left which is going to be actually here, the middle lane. So if I end up in the right hand lane I'm in the incorrect position on the straight, so I'm going to change my gear, a bit of gas, finish in the middle lane. So now I'm in the correct positioning on the straight on a dual carriageway. If I end up in the right hand lane, I'll get a grade 2 fault, so that concludes positioning on the straight.